So hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also support my small business at latricelimited.com. So y'all, 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 I am so freaking tired. I am tired, y'all. I'm so tired of hearing people say, well, it's okay that Roe versus Wade got overturned. Don't worry, I'll adopt your child. Are you kidding me, y'all? I'm so, I can't even believe that people are even saying this kind of stuff. And one, it's just one of those things that it doesn't even concern you. Why do you care if she has a kid? It has nothing to do with you. It's not any of your business. But you have these people who are saying, "Oh, I'll adopt your kid. Don't worry, don't worry." And it's like, you, so you're gonna force somebody to have a kid that they don't want just so you could go and adopt a kid or adopt a kid? Let's look at America, for example. Do you know there are a lot, a lot, okay, of foster kids out there that have not been adopted? Why is that? Why is that? Why are people, why do we have a, a, such a large adoption system with so many people willing to adopt, yet no one has done it yet? You're willing to adopt. Every person that you say, hey, have a kid, you adopt every single kid then, right? Is that what you're telling me you're going to do? So you tell 100 people, have a kid, they have a kid. You're going to take in every single one of those kids. No, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. And this is also another thing that really bothers me. It's with these people that's like, oh, well, I'll adopt your kid. Oh, I'll do it. You know, you're saying all that. And it's like, okay, one, you're forcing someone to have a kid that they don't want to have. Obviously, the Supreme Court does not care about that. So fine. You have people who now have a kid or are pregnant with one. So are you going to be paying for all of their medical bills? Since this is now, you want this kid so badly. Are you paying for all of their medical bills in the United States? Which means you're paying probably $100,000. Oh, if not more. Depending on if the person is insured or not. Depending on what kind of test this person gets. Are you going to make sure that everything's right with them? If the mama needs, let's say she's you know about to be bedridden, about to have the baby. You're going to make sure that you drive down there to make sure she gets to her appointment. So you're driving her down to her appointment. So you making sure that she eats. you making sure that she has enough liquids. you making sure that she's getting up and exercising. Are you going to actually be there? Or are you just going to blab off, say, oh yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. And then when push comes to shove, you're like, deuces. And this is also another thing that really gets me is these people, they want... They want the the baby. You know, they want the little baby. And oh, it's so cute. Oh, look at that little baby. But we got all these people in the foster care system. And it's like, well, what about them? Well, I mean, they... Mm, I mean, they one years old, man. Yeah, it's one years. Why can't you go and adopt one of them? Well, man, they one year... I mean, they starting to walk around, man. They, they starting to move. And I mean, man, these kids... So you don't want them when they get older. You don't want a 10 year old, five year old, six year old, three year old, two year old. You want these little infant babies. No, because all of what is happening is all these people, you know, you got pro-life and pro-choice, right? Y'all are just pro get out the coochie and that's it. All right, that's it. Pro get out the coochie. I don't care what happened within the coochie. I don't care if the mama drunk. I don't care if you guys got, if she got all her shots, if she got, you know, enough iron. I don't care if she got this. I don't care if she got that. Just get out of the coochie and we're good. And that's all y'all care about. Just admit it. Just look in the mirror right now and say, I'm just pro coochie. You know, I'm just pro get out the coochie and that's it. I mean, y'all could be pro coochie too. You know, but just saying like, I'm pro baby getting out the coochie. That's it. All right. I don't care if they come out healthy or not. All right, that's what y'all are. People like that, they don't care if the baby's healthy. They don't care. They don't care if the mama's taken care of. Otherwise, they will put in a million dollars and be like, here's a million dollars. I'll make sure you have servants. I'll make sure you have all this shit, right? But no, nobody's doing that because they don't care. Well, just make sure the baby comes out, you know, and make sure the baby's actually born. I don't care if they had any insurance. I don't care if... The mom was taking her prenatal vitamins. I don't care about anything else. Just make sure the baby comes out and then I don't care anymore. Why Why does this even bother you? You know, people like, I just, why does this even bother you? Why? I mean, all these kids out here, unloved, uncared for, 
Are you kidding? Abused? Why can't you go out and go and get one of them? Oh, no, you don't want to do that. You don't want to go out and get any of these kids. You don't actually want to help. You just care about whether they not whether or not they are out of the cooch. And then you're like, okay, deuces. Well, that makes you a shitty person, does it not? Goodness. I mean, I just get so annoyed with this because <laughs> people are just like, oh, well, but the baby, it's, it's a baby. You know, you guys need to really care. And I care. No, you don't. You don't care. You never had. All right. All you care about is inserting your opinion that in all honesty, no one gives a fuck about. That's just what it is. All you care about is trying to control somebody else because your life is out of control. You're mad because you got an abortion nine times out of ten. You're mad because you know somebody who got an abortion or somebody who should have gotten an abortion. And you mad. That's all that is. I mean, these people, they're just... These people are just clowns. All of them. You know, and it's just really annoying. Because what's your purpose? I mean, what's your purpose? Oh, well, I'm going to try to, I'm going to just bring her down. I'm going to make sure that she, why? I mean, what, what satisfaction are you getting from that? You know, it's the same thing with these Karens as well. You know, you just, you go out, you go out of your way to bother other people. Why? What are you getting from this? What are you gaining from this? Well, I mean... I, I just want to show them that I'm important. Well, bitch, you need to learn to love yourself and leave other people alone, okay? Worry about your life. Worry about what you are doing. Worry about adopting some kids. Since you want some kids all of a sudden, go adopt 10 kids, take care of them, and then leave other people alone. Get out of the abortion clinics. Because, I mean, goodness, and for years we've been hearing about how you have these chicks, and mostly chicks, going in there bothering people. Oh, well, you're going to go to hell if you get an abortion. Da, 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 da. There was a whole threat I seen on Twitter, yo. And it was a lot of people who had their stories and all this other stuff. And they were over here talking about, you know, these people, just hypocrites. These hypocritical people who are saying, oh, abortions, you shouldn't have an abortion, you shouldn't have an abortion. Meanwhile, they're in Planned Parenthood or wherever, you know, their clinic to get an abortion. And then they're telling the doctor after everything's done, you're going to go to hell for this. Oh, you're, you're terrible. Meanwhile, you're there. And then there was another one that I see that the person, they were, so you had all the other females who were trying to get the same thing done. And this person, well, I don't want to, I'm not like them. Mine wasn't, I wasn't reckless like these people over here. You know, I just, can I have like an abortion, like go through a different room or something, you know, so I don't have to walk past these kind of people. I mean, who do you guys think you are? You're getting the same thing done as everybody else, okay? If she wants to get an abortion, let her. What's the problem? How is that bothering you? How are you being stopped in any way, shape, or form? This is what really irritates me about these people. It has nothing to do with you. You're over here mad. For what? You're happy to... <laughs> you're mad that people you want an abortion that has nothing to do with you. You're also extremely happy that they can't get one. I mean, what do you want? You know, I just, people like that just really irritate me. And I just really don't have any patience for ignorance. Because at the end of the day, it does not bother you. No one is saying they're going to an ab uh, abort, you know, a, a eight week, a eight month old, you know, if, in fucking two weeks. You know what I mean? No one is saying they're going to do that. Most of the stuff... It's from like, you know, it's from early on. It's early on. And if, yeah, and if there are health problems that is going to possibly kill the mother, yeah, they're going to do it. You know, there are states who are saying that, yeah, that's perfectly fine to do something like that. But, oh, well, you can't do it with all this other stuff. You do realize this is not going to stop anything. All it's going to do is make it so that more women will die because they are going to go with the more unsafe practices with it all right meaning there may be a higher risk of infections going on as well you know so none of this is going to stop anything so these kind of people oh my goodness america is just they've just gone i mean they've been crap but it has gotten extremely worse right now um, but those are my thoughts and my opinions on this story and until then